Hello to these scenes, Kenzie Retro here and welcome to another edition of Kenzie Retro's Reviews. Today I will be reviewing... <laughs> ah, much better than Dumbo last week. Much better. Oh man, just the boost we needed after how bad Dumbo was last week for me. Uh, I will be keeping this review spoiler free as much as possible. And... Here we go. So, you've got Billy, Bas Billy Batson as the titular Shazam. And um, a, trying to work out how, trying to work out what his powers are and what powers he doesn't have. Um, it's a very, it's a, it's a very interesting origin story from that. Um, but uh, he uh, was separated from his mum at a really young age. He didn't know where his mum was. And you've also got the, you've also got the uh, foster family as well. Uh, the foster dad is the same guy that plays Jerry in The Walking Dead. And I was, I was sitting there every time... That guy was on screen. I was, I kept saying to myself, I've seen this guy before, but yet I was drawing a blank. I couldn't think of where he was before. But uh, so you've got, um, you've got the antagonist who tried to take the, to take this mystical artifact after being tempted to take it by the Seven Deadly Sins, when the original Shazam said that he wasn't worthy of becoming Shazam. And my goodness me, things take a massive turn for that character afterwards. Uh, um, Thaddeus, Thaddeus Savannah, that's, that's his name. And then you've got Digimon Hons, uh, Hounsu as the, as the original Shazam. And uh, interesting facts about him, he was the, he was the voice of Riku in... Aquaman. And yeah, uh, you've got Zachary Levi as Shazam, you've got Ash Angel as uh, Billy Baston. And I think casting wise, these casting choices were brilliant. I liked it. And yeah. It was um, very strong on the acting front, very well written, and there was definitely a bit of um, self awareness as well. A, a bit of, a bit of meta. They got a bit meta. It was uh, done a bit in there. And here's the thing: Shazam was Shazam's original name was Captain Marvel. Yes, Captain Marvel in the DC Universe. I know, it's crazy. But they obviously would have, but they obviously changed it to, well, Shazam. Because they didn't want Marvel breathing down their necks. But it is, but it is the latest installment in the... DC Extended Universe, alongside the likes of Batman vs. Superman, Man of Steel, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Suicide Squad, and of course, the Justice League. <clears throat> uh, visually, it was a... I mean, visually, uh, the costumes... The costume for Shazam was brilliant. You thought it was like, 
but uh, with but with the, the powers that he was showcasing, uh, it was sort of like half. It was sort of like part Superman, part Flash. Uh, but yeah, it's um, costumes were pretty much on point. The visual style for the videos, uh, no videos, no uh, the, for the film uh, set around set around Christmas time, and they uh, they weren't exactly subtle about telling you it's Christmas time. Here's a wreath. Here's Santa. Here's everything else Christmas related. But yeah, it was uh, it was a great it's a great film. All around um, soundtrack, sort of like your sort of your cliched music score at this point, um, but the music was done by Benjamin Wolfish, who worked on it from twenty seventeen, Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Cure for Wellness, Hidden Figures, Lights Out, and Desert Dancer. But some of the songs that they used, some of the songs that they used, oh man, I was, man, I was having fun with Don't Stop Me Now. But I mean, so I mean, the song choices that they had, absolutely brilliant. So I've done the soundtrack, cast, story, I mean, I liked the story. A different take on how to create, uh, how to have an origin story for your superhero, because they were acting like they didn't know what his superpowers were. I mean, I mean, he had superpowers. They just didn't know what ones he had and what ones he had didn't have. So yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, here we go. We've got story. We'll give that an eight. Acting a nine. The visuals mm, give that a seven, and the, uh, the soundtrack I'll give that a seven as well. So there we go. Uh, done. So after all the calculations have been done, uh, the overall score is a seventy-eight percent. Technically seventy-seven point five. Yes, I did not. Yes, I'm aware that seventy-two point five for Dumbo last week. I didn't round it up because it wasn't good enough to justify me um, putting it up. But for this one, rounding it up to seventy-eight, it is one I highly recommend. Um, but if you're expecting this to be a superhero film, trust me, it's not a superhero film. It doesn't become a superhero film until about halfway through the film. But uh, if, you, if you're going into this expecting just to have a good time, have a good laugh, absolutely one I'd recommend. So there we go, that is it for today folks. Um, the next review I'm going to be doing, um, not sure if I'll be doing one um, beforehand, but uh, next review I'm going to be doing is going to be Avengers Endgame. And after that, I may just review the rest of the MCU. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. But anyway, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized and following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latter today's season notification squad so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Previous video on the left. Playlist on the right. And I'll see you guys again very soon. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out. And as always, stay faithful.